Good day guys and welcome back to 32 Builds, here with another video on the Datsun 1200. With the majority of the running gear restored and installed, let's shift the focus back onto the body. In this video I'll be showing my entire repair process of the rocker seal on the passenger side of the car, along with the bases of the A and B pillars where they meet up to the seal. We'll start off with a lot of excavation and demolition. Where I can, I'll uncover the factory spot welds with a wire wheel, then drill them out to separate the panels. You'll probably see in some of the shots that the metal is just way too pitted for me to even locate the dimples where the factory spot welds are. These are the A and B pillar sections of the door jam I was talking about. They're definitely gonna have to be repaired and I'm going to need to reach the metal behind them, hence my decision to cut them right below the lower door hinge. That way I can more easily repair each layer. I've reduced this lower section of the car to practically a single layer of flat sheet metal. This is also the first time I'm properly mocking up this rocker seal, which will save a lot of effort in the overall repair. There's still plenty of repairs needed to do in the metal of the surrounding areas. Here I'm removing the reinforcement in the location of the pinch weld jacking point. Although it's not the first jacking point I usually go for when working on my car, I'm going to have to make something up here, just in case I need it or somebody uses it in the future. I'll be addressing this later on in the video. So I've marked out the areas which I've decided to replace. You can see a recessed channel in this piece, and that's the location where the cabin floor is pinch welded to. To make the repair easier on me, I've decided to replace it with a single flat sheet of mild steel. When I do eventually repair the cabin floors, it's just going to have to come outwards by maybe a millimeter or two. The whole floor is going to have to be repaired as well, but removing this section has allowed me to do a small repair in the lower corner of the passenger footwell. I know it doesn't look like there's a lot of car left here, and there really isn't. There's a lot of thinking happening between each of these shots and before every chop to ensure I don't remove too many points of reference that help me in my repairs. I also don't want to chop too much of the car to avoid the whole shape of the car warping, resulting in a banana of a Datsun 1200. Although I'm making a patch piece for the floor here, I've only spot welded and tacked it on for the time being. I've decided to finish up the seal repairs before I come back to this. And now, beginning the repairs for this run of flat section. I found it to be personally easier to work in simple shapes, rather than to create a single patch panel with complex edges. It just results in that many more edges you have to align in one go. So for here, I'm welding in two triangle patches, making a nice simple rectangle for me to fill in next.
by the way, this paint is copper rich weld through primer. It offers protection of the metal while also being weldable. Particularly useful when spot welding panels together. Most of the welds that are going to be here are butt welds. So I'm not sure how effective it is in preventing rust on the backside of those. Though most of the time I have access to the backside of the weld, so I'm able to protect them where I can. This is the biggest piece I've ever welded onto this car, and the effects of warping are very visible. I'm going to have to do some panel beading in some sections to get it relatively flat, but aesthetically, it doesn't matter how flat it looks, as it all gets hidden behind further panels. It does though impact the angle in which the rocker seal sits, so it's something I'm going to have to keep in mind and account for as I continue. This is what I've decided to go with for the pinch weld jack point reinforcement. The original piece got its strength from its shape, where my replacement is just a fat piece of 3mm thick mild steel. With it fully welded in and sandwiched between the two pieces, let's hope this does the trick. I can tell you though, it's a lot harder to bend than the original piece.
As you can see, I've left the bottom edge longer. This is for me to trim when the repair is complete. Now, let's move on to the A and B pillar sections. I'll start on the lower A pillar. You can see there's not much to go off here, but I've gone ahead and studied images of my car on the internet and have a rough idea on how to make it similar to how it once was. Although this piece is pretty much all junk, I need to save the upper cut line as well as the spot welds on the curve section to serve as a reference to align this piece along with the alignment of the rocker seal. I'm taking advantage of the straight lines of the piece and following them through to create the rough shape of the panel. All the while, constantly going back and forth making sure it still fits onto the car. While doing repairs like these, where I eventually want to grind the weld as flat as possible, I've learned that you want the height of the two butt edges to be exactly in line. There's only one millimeter of thickness to play with, and I don't want to be shaving off anything apart from the proud sections of the weld. This will ensure both sides of the weld retain their original thickness.
I'm pretty happy with that piece, and with a bit of wrestling, it'll fit just perfect. Now, on to the other end. With both pieces done, it's time to prep the pieces and the area to be welded together. I'm putting some seam sealer on the backside of these patch panels to protect them from rusting too quickly, making sure I stay away from the spots that'll get welded. Same with the replacement seal panel, I remove paint from areas that'll get welded, then recoat with weld through primer. The sheet metal that's already part of the car, I'll make sure it's primed, then I'll add a coat of sound ending paint, leaving clear the welding areas. Check it out, this is my new toy. It's a handheld spot welder I picked up off Gumtree. It leaves clean OEM style spot welds, and I've tested it out on a couple pieces of scrap metal. Had a go ripping the welder part, and it seems to do a pretty decent job. The only downside is how damn heavy it is. I'm sweating, my arms are tired, and it's got me wanting to switch back to the regular MIG welder. The surrounding areas of this repair also get the whole treatment. Rust converter, a good clean, then primer, before welding on the final pieces. I'm masking out some of the areas that I haven't welded yet. I'm leaving these welds until later, which leaves me with a little adjustment for alignment when I go to weld in the rear quarter panels. So there we have it, the door jam and rocker seal of the passenger side has been dealt with. A skim of body filler and it'll look even better. 
This video was a build-up of multiple weeks of work and I'm constantly learning along the way. There may have been bits that I've missed. I've got the driver's side to work on next, so let me know if there's anything you'd like to see specifically, more in detail, or if you've got any tips for when I go to tackle the other side. As always, thank you so much for watching. Back to work for me so I can see you in the next one. Peace.